Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RV, and we're so excited. Spring is here. It is a little windy out today, but we're getting ready to go out on the road next week, which is going to be pretty awesome. We're very yes. excited about it. If you want to follow our adventures, please, guys, make sure you're subscribed. And the reason why we say this, we had a lot of followers, viewers reach out to us saying they've been unsubscribed unknowingly multiple times. So just make sure you're subscribed, notification bells on, so you can follow us on our latest videos that come yep. out. Today we have a really important one. This one we didn't know about this. We we found this out from an insider, an RV industry insider, and now a new article just came out on RV Travel dated March 22nd, 2024, talking about this issue. So this article on RV Travel is titled, The Hollow Promise Behind RV Quality Assurance Badges, Nothing But a Tax Stamp. And what this is referring to, Air quotes. well, that's the, they have it in there. <laughs> This is referring to the RVIA seal that you will see on most RVs. It's usually right near the door. They are they vary in colors. So for motorhomes, they're usually yellow, gold, gold yeah. yeah. And then you'll have different for you know travel trailers and things. So what is the RVIA? If you don't know, so the RVIA is the RV Industry Association, and is association that is essentially the, their purpose is to promote the RV lifestyle. But in reality, it's to sell a lot of RVs, lobby on behalf of the RV manufacturing, you know, RV industry. Sell the lifestyle. Sell yeah. the lifestyle. They actually had a big hand in getting RVs exempt from the FTC cars rule. If you don't remember that, we did a video, we'll link it above. So just a brief summary, the CARS law by the FTC combating auto retail scams. Four many things about it. We'll link it down below. You can read all about it. It's pretty amazing that uh, the RVIA didn't want the RV industry involved in this, but re read the first two and then I'll, I'll read the last two. So number one is prohibits misrepresentations about materials information. So saying that dealers cannot make misrepresentations about certain topics that would affect a consumer's buying choices. So such as price or financing or things like that. Number two, requires dealers to clearly disclose the offering price, the actual price anyone can pay to get the car, excluding only required government charges. So three and four, number three, makes it illegal for dealers to charge consumers for add-ons that don't provide a benefit. And number four, requires dealers to get consumers express informed consent before charging them for anything. I believe one of the big things that the RVIA was talking about, the RV Dealers Association, another big lobby group was, it was going to be a nightmare in record keeping. I mean, car dealers can do it, but they can do it. But it just, just gives you what their interest is. It's, it's the RV industry. So you may have seen this sticker, but if you haven't, it like MJ said, it's usually smack right in the door, looks really official, has a serial number, and it will say, as RVIA prominently displayed, it says manufacturer certifies compliance with standard for recreational vehicles and FPA 1192. There's a serial number and then kind of in the circle it says electrical, plumbing, heating, fire safety. NFPA stands for the National Fire Protection Association and the 1192 standard is the, the requirements for recreational vehicles. So certain things like if you have propane, the appropriate plumbing and the appropriate pressure regulator and fire extinguishers and other types of plumbing, all electrical, those are covered in the standard. So these seals are your assurance, there's my quotes again, assurance, the RV you've just purchased meets certain quality and safety standards. But the truth guys is that the manufacturers purchase these seals before the vehicles have even been built. Correct, and the manufacturers are also responsible for ensuring they meet a standard. So there's no real inspection from like a third party or like a federal government. Like this is not required by the feds at all. So there's no like federal mandate or pop-up inspections from the federal government. It's just kind of like an industry, they regulate themselves. And, and not to sound cynical, but a lot of times when you're regulating yourself, sometimes things go astray. The other twist is that if you are an RVIA member, so if you're a manufacturer that wants to put that seal on the door, and most of the RVs manufactured out there are RVIA members, well, it doesn't come for free. There's actual a cost and it's a huge revenue generator for RVIA. So it, you'd be surprised how much they generate 
by just having these seals. From RVIA's total 2023 revenues of $9.4 million, $5.3 million came from seal sales. Membership dues, the next highest revenue generator, brought in $2.9 million, with the balance coming from events, sponsorships, and other things like that. That cost is passed on to you, the consumer. Everybody that buys a new RV, if it has that RVIA sticker on it, you are paying for it. Now, how much does it cost you? Well, we don't really know. We, we, we looked online and you can't really find like a definitive cost. We, we've seen anywhere from like $97. We do have several RV Insider friends that have told us it's $299, but we can't third party heard more verify that. that. So in the comments below, if you are a dealer or you work for a dealer, let us know how much is this actually costing? I'm sure what well, we want to know, and I'm mm -hmm. sure our followers want to know. So as you can imagine, when sales soar, RV seals soar as well. So when everything exploded in 2021, it was more than 600,000 units. So the seal sales, of course, the revenue from that also soared and it hit a record $13.4 million. So then when the sales tapered, seal revenue also plummeted and it, it dropped 60% over the next two years. But the spending didn't change much. Right, so RVIA's total revenues last year for 23, with seal sales still being the main income contributor, covered only 73% of the association's 12.9 million in expenses. Now, whenever we do our RV industry updates or you know the shipment updates, registrations, things like that, we always read Craig Kirby's quotes. Now, Craig Kirby is the RVIA president and he's always very positive, which the leader of an organization should be. So he gets paid to do. Right, <laughs> so he is stressing currently that he can't help, this is quote, can't help but feel optimistic about the direction we are heading. He is confident that RV production is going to bounce back in 2024. And of course, along with that, the sale of these RVIA seals. So the RVIA is projecting 350,000 shipments for 2024. That'd be versus the 313,174 reported for 2023. Now, they're talking about shipments and not talking about sales. We did multiple videos. Yes, shipments are up four months in a row. Sales are still down. There hasn't been a positive month in sales in quite some time. We also did a reaction video. We'll link it above regarding National Indoor RV Center's president, Brett Davis, who has a financial background, banking background, and he went over what how they do their projections every year and they're very accurate with them. They have to be or they wouldn't be in business. And he had a very different turn on it. Now, keep in mind, they only sell motorhomes, but he thought the RVIA's projections were way off. And he said it in a really nice way, but he broke down kind of what they use in RVC and how accurate they were for the last two years and where they believe shipments will be and where they believe the bottoming out of the RV industry will be. And it's not in 2024, right. it's like closer to 2026. Put in the comments below if you saw that video by Brett Davis and put in the comments below what you think. Do you think it's headed in a better direction currently or do you think it's gonna take a couple more years? So you may be asking yourself, why are we doing this video? It is not in any way to bash the RVIA or bash anyone. It's to educate and to let you know, because some of you may not even have known. Again, we are learning every right day. Here. So it's to let you know where your money is going. I think it's good for people to be as educated as possible. And also, you should know that an RV manufacturer does not need to be a member of RVIA. They don't have to have the seal. We know smaller, some smaller manufacturers, one that's quite close to us that does not participate. And they make very high quality yeah. units yeah. that are in demand. Uh, it also, it's not federally mandated. It's not federally regulated. And it doesn't assure a quality RV. I, I think that's the biggest issue that we have. You see that sticker, it's like, the way it looks is like, oh, this, this the, the stamp of approval. It only is supposed to assure that it met certain requirements but that's not even third party verified. The wolf is looking over the chicken coop, right? When, when they, they show this. So the RV manufacturer is responsible to make sure that quality is there. So that's why it's so important to go with a reputable RV manufacturer when you're gonna buy one, a reputable RV dealer. And of course, what do we always say? 
third party qualified inspector. And, and even if it's new guys, there, there's a lot yeah. of problems out there. And it goes from very high end units mm -hmm. all the way down to entry level units. Just be aware, you have to be your own advocate guys because RVs are very expensive. And the last thing you wanna do is get into an RV and have problems. That's not to say that that will happen, but it has happened to a lot of people. So in the comments below, let us know, did you know about this RVIA sticker? I mean, you've seen it, but did you know what, the, what was behind it, what it meant, what the cost or revenue is associated with it? Put in the comments below and be like videos like this. To the left of us, we'll put our RV news playlist, we'll put our RV newbies playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.